Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to do calculations with time in the time workbook. As you notice, I have some arrival data on for commuter trains in Stockholm, and you'll notice that the hours and the minutes are delimited by a colon, and also between the minutes and the seconds. It's important that you make sure that you type your minutes in a way that Excel understands. And as you can see, these are actually aligned to the right. That's one way of seeing that your information is actually in a number format. Let me illustrate that by typing down 123 there and 123 kilos there. You'll notice that the 123 is a proper number that gets shown to the right, but or right aligned, but the second one here is left aligned and it's not a proper number. I'll further illustrate that by doing some math based on this plus 10. That works beautifully. This one though equals that one plus 10. That doesn't work. So you need to make sure that your times are actually in a format that Excel can understand. Let's remove that illustration now. And now we're going to do the math here and do the calculation. Arrival minus the schedule time and that will get us an eight minute delay there that works beautifully as long as there's actually a delay but when the train comes in early that doesn't work so let's change this now you can't really display times in minus that doesn't really work and that's why it's showing up like that so instead we're going to format this as not as time but as numbers and we're going to use a thousand separator of course that's always a good idea and we'll add some more decimal places just to show that as you see, we have fractions of days, because time is actually expressed as days, or 24-hour periods. So these, the 8 minutes, is actually 0 0.00556 days. So to convert that into minutes, which we want, we'll do a parentheses around this minus to make sure that it's actually do it done first. Then we'll multiply that. If we have days, we want to multiply that by 24 to get the hours, and then multiply that by 60 to get the minutes. And as you will see when I enter now, I get 8 minutes there. And then I can fill that down all the way, and you'll notice that I get minus 2 minutes here, which is correct, and minus um, 8 minutes on that train, which is correct. Now we don't need all those decimals, so we can remove those. And then we can just do the max calculations like that. And then we can do the min calculation like that. And finally, the median in the same way equals median and all those. Right. So that concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.